Hey, what's going on? It's me and Davy Sarah, and I want to share with you who I've given my business to, what I mean by I've given my business away, and what this has to do with you and your future. Now, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Mia Davies, and I'm the founder and CEO of Mia Davies LLC, which is a coaching and training company that empowers people to get their message out to the world using the internet. It's been a very lucrative six-figure business for me and given me a lot of time freedom. So why would I want to give this business away? And what do I mean by that? Well, I want to share that with you. But before I do, I want to share with you a story. So when I was 17 years old, my mom sat me down at the kitchen table and she said, I have some really bad news. Your stepdad has been spending all of the money over the last 10 years. He's put me $400,000 in debt. He spent your college fund and your sister's college fund. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I remember looking at her that day and I made a decision that impacted the rest of my life. I turned from God and I turned to the world and I said, as long as I make enough money and I have enough success, I will be protected. That will be my security so I never end up in the same situation as my mom. And I pursued success and money like it was the most important thing for the next 10 years. I really wanted not much to do with God because to me, money and success became my God. I uh, worked hard through college. I graduated with my master's degree at 23 years old, started a speech therapy company, making a six-figure income by 24 years old. I had bought a house and looked like I had all the success from a worldly standpoint. On the outside, it looked good. On the inside, I was in a lot of pain. As you can imagine, turning from God and pursuing all these worldly things, it was pretty empty inside. And I was at a business event about five years ago, and my intention was to get some more business strategy so I could go make some more money. Well, God ended up showing me a different path that night. In fact, it ended up being a very powerful weekend of coming back to God. I ended up picking up a Bible for the first time in 10 years. I was on my knees that night, praying to God that he would save me from this situation. Now, from the world standpoint, I looked like I had it all. But on the inside, I was begging God to save me from the pain I was in. I was in a terrible relationship that looked good from the outside, but it was not good behind closed doors. And um, I, I didn't know how to save myself. So I was asking God, please help me. In a matter of four weeks, God moves supernaturally in my life, and uh, he allowed me to sell my house in a bad market within two weeks, sold everything I owned, moved from New Mexico to San Diego, and I was out here within four weeks flat. Nobody thought it was even possible, and it wasn't except for God, right? So I got here to San Diego, and I got a fresh new start. I got to really start to create a new life, and I was so grateful for that, but guess what happened? Once everything was fine again, I said, thanks for your help, God. I'm good now. I'm going to go back to pursuing worldly things. Um, I'm going to go back to pursuing success and money. At that time, I ended up coming on the internet, learning internet marketing, and I started to pursue that world. Before long, I had built up a six-figure income that allowed me to walk away from my speech therapy company. So here I was with this internet business. And I started to grow in, in success with this business. I had my first $50,000 month. I had my first $80,000 month. I had my first six-figure month. If you make six figures every month, you're on your way to seven figures a year. So I thought, yay, I'm on my way to achieving my goal that I had set out to achieve. But there was this pain in my heart that I can't even describe to you because I knew everything I was pursuing was not the most important thing. Considering the fact that we can't take any of this with us when we go, there was this empty feeling inside of me. What I really wanted was God. That's all I wanted. I just didn't know how to fully trust God. I didn't know how to turn from the world and pursuing success and say, God, I trust you. What do you want to do with my life? And I kept asking the question and, and God moved in my life and brought me in the last few months to incredible answers to the questions I've been asking. In fact, in a very short period of time, God has set me free from this prison I've been living in my entire life, which is called, as long as I have enough success and money, I will be okay. It's called having all of your security in material things and in worldly things and in money. He set me free from that. And I have learned 
who God really is and 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 being able to finally walk in faith rather than this view of what I thought God was, which was I can't fully trust God. So he's revealed to me who he truly is. And um, out of that, I've been able to completely surrender not only my business, but my entire life to God and say, look, this is all yours. You created me. You gave me breath to breathe another day. Um, you gave me this mind. You gave me the entrepreneurial spirit. You gave me the skills that I have. You gave me all of this. What is it you want to do with it? If, if I need to walk away from this business, if that's not your will, if I built all this up off of my own agenda, then let it be done. I don't need this business. I don't need the Mercedes. I don't need the house. I don't need all these things. And to be freed from that and to say, all I need is God. I don't need any of these things. You see, none of these things are bad. Money's not bad. Success isn't bad. None of it's bad. It's just that when that is more important to us than God, when we love that more than God, that's where the pain really is because that's, he just wants our hearts, you know? So if you can have things, but you don't have any attachment to them. I mean, you know you can't take any of them with you when you go. They're not your most important thing. You don't pursue them and love them over God. Then you can have, God, God can have your whole heart and allow him to work through you and in you to have his will be done. And amazing things can happen. I mean, this is God. He created everything in, what, six days and then rested on the seventh day. It's not a big deal to him. So, you know, your your problems that seem so big, your business that seems so important all these things are just they're they're nothing to him i mean he owns all of it anyway so to get to a point of saying look this was all yours i've been running with it to 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 meet my own needs and my own agenda but what is your will let your will be done i don't need any of this what do you want to do with this and what's so cool is in completely surrendering my business and my life and, and just giving it back to god who it was his to begin with um the only thing he's put on my heart is that this platform, I mean, being able to have any influence in the world, um, being able to use the internet, being able to do all these things, that, that this can be used to actually bring truth and light to people. You know, there's a lot of darkness in the business world right now. There's a lot of greed. There's a lot of pursuing worldly things like that's all that matters. There's a lot of, um, you know, worshiping the wrong things. I mean, where's God in half of it, right? In any of it. And so being able to bring that light and bring his truth back to the business world is really what he's put on my heart to do. And uh, and it's so cool because in surrendering your business completely to him and surrendering your life to him, he can start to move supernaturally and really take all these talents and skills and even the breath of life that he's given you and actually start to fulfill his will through you. You can be used mightily by God when you surrender your life because he loves you so much. He loves us so much. He doesn't want anything from us. He doesn't need anything from us. All he wants is our heart. He just wants us to love him. And out of that, anything is possible. Nothing's impossible for God. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And uh, so to have God as the CEO of your business and you're simply a servant to God, that's, a, that's an exciting business opportunity right there, right? I mean, the creator of the universe is in charge. You're letting him lead the way and you're his servant. How can I serve people through these skills you've given me, through this business you've given me, through this influence you've given me, through this internet thing you've given me? How can I fulfill your will, not my will? These are amazing questions to ask and where it all leads, I don't know, only God knows. You know, he doesn't reveal his whole plan to us because we probably couldn't handle it. He already knows how it's all going to go for you, for me. It's, it's already been laid out. It's already been prepared. He already knows our next step. He already knows everything. But to actually humble yourself and surrender your, not only your business, but your entire life to the one who created you and allow him to work through you and in you, amazing things will happen. It's the direct opposite of what this world says. This world says, go out and take care of yourself First, worry about money, worry about the clothes you're going to wear, the food you're going to eat, take care of all of that. And hopefully if you have some time for God in there, you'll squeeze it in on Sundays when you go to church, right? That's what most people are doing. That's where God's word says the exact opposite, which our brains can't seem to comprehend, which is seek first, Matthew 6, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added 
happen to you. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, the clothes you're going to wear, what money you're going to make. Don't worry about any of that. Focus on the kingdom of God and his righteousness first and all these things will be taken care of. That's a direct contradiction to what we're trained in this society. Really? Is it really all going to be handled? Now, some people could take that the wrong way. If you have an issue with laziness, you could say, oh, God's going to take care of everything. I'm going to sit here and watch TV. You have another thing coming for you if that's the case. But if you're like me, my issue isn't laziness. We each have different issues. If anything, my issue is more pride and thinking I'm in charge. I can do it because I'm a go-getter. I'm going to make things happen and I'm going to go figure it out and I don't really need God, right? So some people have that issue. They work too hard. They work too much. They're worshiping money and success over anything else. And then other people have the issue of laziness. Those are That's a whole other video in itself. But the point is, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. It's really that simple. We just make it extremely complicated because that sounds very scary to think we can fully walk in faith and trust that if we seek God first and foremost, everything else will be taken care of because our society says the opposite. But I want to give you an invitation today because I just shared a lot with you. I shared with you, uh, what's happening on my journey and I don't know what's happening with you exactly you know God's moving in all of our lives in different ways and it's a personal relationship you have with God that you need to seek out and uh, he's going to speak to you and reveal things to you in 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 the way and in his time I don't know what that is but I want to give you an invitation today to look at your own life and look at everything you have and ask yourself if God asked you today to let go of everything what is it you would still hold on to and say, God, I'll do everything you ask me, except I won't let go of that. And whatever that one thing is, you love that more than you love God. And that's what has to go. You have to clear that out of your heart. You want, you want to be at a place where no matter what you have, no matter what you've been blessed with, you can enjoy it and you can have it. None of it's bad. But to be at a place of you love God more than any of it. And if he asks you to let it all go now, could you let it all go? And, and truly have that knowing in your heart that you're not attached to any of it because you cannot take any of this with you when you go. None of it. It's all, it's all of the world, right? And so if you can stand in that place, you can be trusted with money and success and fame and these different things because you aren't attached to it. You don't have your identity wrapped up in it. You don't love it more than you love God. As long as you put God first and you love him with your whole heart, then you can be trusted with some of these bigger things that typically go straight to people's head, right? They think, oh, I did all that. I got it. And that is the saddest place to be, absolute destruction. You know, I'm so grateful every day that God did not bring my business. He didn't allow my business to, to reach seven figures because I'm going to tell you right now, if I had met my goal that I was pursuing over God, it would have been my destruction because I was so convinced that as long as I had all of that, I would be fine. And I'm so grateful to be at a place now where I don't need any of that. All I need is God. Everything else is simply a bonus. If he wants to give me a business, if he wants to give me seven figures and I can be trusted with all that, great. It's all his anyways. It was never mine. He gave me the breath of life and the abilities that I have in the first place. So it is all his. And to be in that place, to put, to have yourself put in your proper position is an incredible place to be. God can work through you and in you in ways you can't even fathom right now. You don't know what his plan is for you, but being able to trust it, amazing things are going to come your way. So this is the second long video I've made. I teach people to make two minute videos, but this is such a critical topic. I am not cutting this video short. So I wanted to get all of this in and there's so much more I can share with you. I have more videos coming your way. But right now, all God's put on my heart is that this business, this platform, whatever this has that's been created is simply being used right now to bring his truth and light into the business world. So if this makes a difference for you, please pass this video along. Um, leave me a comment below so I know that you were here. And look in your own life at what are you holding on to over God? What do you love more than God? And whatever that is, ask God to help clear that out of your heart so that you love God first and foremost, and everything else is just a bonus. You know, if you're blessed with some cool stuff in this life, great. Enjoy it. Just don't think it's you. Don't love it more than God and don't get attached to it because we can't take it with us when we go. With that, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.